Over the next few minutes, we will show you the steps needed to install Sage 50 Accounting, whether you're installing your program from an existing version or from a download link. If the previous year's version of Sage 50 is already installed on your computer, you can download the new version and start its installation directly from within your Sage 50 program. If you don't have the previous year's version of Sage 50 Accounting installed, or if you're installing the new version on a new computer, you can start the installation from a download link. This video will cover both scenarios. If the previous year's version of Sage 50 Accounting is already installed on your computer, you will need an internet connection to download the new version of Sage 50 and a Windows computer which meets the system requirements for Sage 50. If you don't have the previous year's version of Sage 50 Accounting installed, or if you're installing the new version on a new computer, you will need a Windows computer which meets the system requirements for Sage 50, an internet connection or an installation CD, and your activation information including your serial number, account ID, and an activation key. Sage will generally send you the activation information by email. You may also contact our customer support team at 1-888-522-2722 to obtain it. Please note that if you do not have your activation information yet and would like to install Sage 50 now, you may install a trial version of the program. However, you will have to activate Sage 50 within 30 days. Now let's go through the installation steps together. First, let's see what happens if you already have last year's version installed. In Sage 50, we click Help and check for product updates to see if a new version is available. This message indicates that an update is available. We download it now. Depending on your update settings, the new version may have already been downloaded. After a few minutes, we return to help and check for product updates. This message indicates that the new version has been downloaded and is ready to be installed. At this point, we can choose Sage 50 to start the installation, then we click Install Now. Before we go further, let's look at the steps to follow if you don't have the previous version installed or if you're installing the new version on a new computer. When the download is complete, we run the downloaded file to start the installation. The following steps are similar whether you downloaded Sage 50 from a previous version or from a download link. Depending on your computer yes. settings, you may receive a message asking if you want to allow the program to make changes to this computer. Click Yes to continue. The Sage 50 installation wizard will save the installation files on your computer. Click Next to confirm the location or browse if you would like to select a different location. We click Next. The files have now been saved and the installation can start. Click Install Sage 50 to proceed with the installation. Select English or French and click OK to proceed. If you receive the message indicating that an update has been detected on your computer, you can click No to momentarily cancel the installation. Install pending updates, restart your computer, and start installing Sage 50 again. If you would like to continue installing Sage 50, click Yes. We click Yes. If the Windows Firewall is enabled on this computer, you may be prompted to configure it automatically. Click Yes to configure it automatically or No to configure it manually later and click Next. You will then be prompted to select the type of installation. In most cases, typical is the recommended choice. The advanced installation may be used if you're performing a server-only installation, if you would like to change the location of where the program will be installed, or if you would like to select which components of the program you would like to install. We choose Typical and Next. If a previous version of Sage 50 was installed on this computer, and if you are entitled to the latest version of the software, this screen may indicate if the installation has retrieved your serial number automatically. Click Next to continue or No Thanks to enter your serial number manually. If you selected No Thanks or if the installation has not retrieved your serial number automatically, you will see a screen to enter your serial number. Type or copy and paste your 14-character serial number in the Serial Number field. If you do not have a serial number and would like to install a trial version of Sage 50, select the option I will install the 30-day trial version for now. In our case, we type our serial number and we click Next. Review the End User License Agreement carefully, then select I agree to accept the terms. We can now proceed with the installation. The installation will take several minutes to complete, so relax, sit back, it may be a good time for a coffee break. At the end of the process, you will see a confirmation screen. We choose the option to open Sage 50 and we click Finish. If Sage 50 did not retrieve your activation information automatically, you will be prompted to activate your program. 
Type or confirm your company name, serial number, account ID, and activation key. The activation is successful and the new version of Sage 50 opens. Congratulations, you have now successfully installed Sage 50 Accounting. To continue your education and become more proficient with Sage 50, SageU.com has an extensive library of learning topics. The Level 2 Accounting Modules Training course covers the advanced installation and many more topics. Be sure to bookmark sagecity.com forward slash year end now to access more free resources for a peaceful year end.